Hey, Lapsa here. And today's video we have some more amazing Gido add-ons. And this time some that completely change and kind of upgrade the Gido game engine. So, and before starting the video, just have a little quick request. Uh, so if you can subscribe to the channel, that will help a lot. And you can also support me on Patreon. Uh, that will help me keep making these videos. And yeah, that's it. Let's get started. Camera adds an insane amount of features to the Gido's default camera system. It adds priority camera system, solo modes, grouping path and framed mode, our dedicated third person system, better zoom system, better look at system, 3D group system, tweens and our viewfinder. It supports both 3D and 2D. And the best part about this add-on that I love is insanely good documentation if you check out the github it's really good i think if you're making an add-on good documentation is the key Gear lets you create insanely beautiful 2d world using Gido game engine it uses the Gido style map system which i by the way explained in this video you can check it out in the description and it's really good to be honest and you can just create awesome 2d worlds and dungeons and different kind of stuff using the plugin and it has a lot of capabilities to be honest uh, there are some really good videos available which i will link down in the description and uh, i really love the documentation as well okay this add-on makes me think come on was that needed this is rich text label 2 uh, i think i covered the first version in my older video i don't remember to be honest but this lets you create super customizable text labels you can see like they added emojis here like uh, here you can see it says this uh, the apple and stuff this is my code for adding an apple and if you go here see there's an apple here and there's a pear it says a pear so there's a pear here and i'm kind of jealous here I didn't know about this add-on and I'm kind of regretting that I used to use like boring text labels and they are savage enough to say that they have so many features that they cannot list them on the asset library page and to be honest I don't think they are lying there there are insane amount of features here and uh, if you go up here and see this demo video uh, you're gonna be scratching your head to be honest. Uh, let's play this demo video here. Uh, let's play it. And it's literally just insane. So you can see that the text is wobbling but it, it waits for the text. So there's a waiting for certain text to complete. There's waiting between lines. There are signals. There are interaction due to text and you can see that, that it it's pretty cool to be honest and like you when we used to make dialogue it seems so boring but now it's it can be made insanely interesting using this label just one single node and it has an insane amount of possibilities and if you are making dialogue and if you're not using this add-on you're committing a crime to me at the very least uh, to be honest, ever since I started like documenting the Gido add-ons, this might be the best add-on I have ever found. Not because of it has a lot of features or things, but the way it works on a single thing. It doesn't like make a full solution for text. It's just a label that has so much features. And uh, obviously, good documentation never hurts. I really hate when people make amazing add-ons and don't even leave some screenshots on the readme. So love this add-on to be honest. Uh, Progress Bar 3D is a add-on that to be honest I haven't tested and the whole reason I am mentioning this add-on in my video is just to call you guys to think about Gido add-ons in this way. Uh, I really won't love like intractable and in-game UI thing and 3D 
uh, progress bars are definitely the thing that I would want in my game. Uh, the add-on still does the thing, but uh, I think you should, if you're making an add-on and you don't have an idea, you should consider making something a UI element and turn it into a 3D in 3D world game thing. So that's just an idea for you. At the end, I have four add-ons right off the bat, like together. Uh, these are Ch Jolt, Box 2D, Rapider, and Rapider. Uh, the Rapider, and Jolt, and Box 2D are like alternative for the Gidos default physics system. A Rapider offers both 2D and 3D. Uh, while Jolt and Box 2D are different like add-ons. Uh, Box 2D is the base for Unity's physics system for example and it's a really kind of classic you can say add-on like physics system while Rapida is a new one created specifically for Gido. Uh, and I really love people who just try to fix Gido by themselves because Gido is just a open source ecosystem and I really respect people who are trying to add something to the Gido. That's why I love Gido add-ons as I love the community coming together and making something that will make the engine better and help people make something that isn't available in the Gido's default system. So yeah, keep making Gido add-ons. And that's it for today's video. At the end, as always, I would like to request you to support the Robsa Studios channel on Patreon. Uh, it will help me keep making these videos because I don't think I will be able to make them without your support. So yeah, you can find the links in the description. And yeah, goodbye.